Hello Kansas City Chiefs fans. Today I bring you some incredible news. It looks like we've finally found a replacement for DiCaprio Boodle. This is not the video you expected, but I'm sure you'll love it. That video will be on the 2023 Draft Picks playlist here on the channel, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think of our new players. The Kansas City Chiefs recently made three undrafted picks, and I've already reacted to the first two draft picks, Felix and Rashi. This video will also appear on the 2023 preseason playlist, and will be the 50th video in that playlist. I'm exploring some ideas for this 2023 NFL season, so stay tuned. The Kansas City Chiefs are the only thing I talk about on the channel, so if you find yourself here by chance but not by design, consider hitting the subscribe button to stay up to date with the multiple videos I put out every week, between 4th and 7th week. And if you want to help me with what I'm doing on this channel, hit the like button and help share this video with other Chiefs fans. Also, there is a link in the description below to the NFL Draft where I will be doing prospect and prospect rankings until the next NFL Draft. Now, back to what really matters. Martez Manuel from safety to the Mizzou Tigers found his way to the Kansas City Chiefs on the undrafted rookie free agent roster. Martez is 1.83 meters tall, weighs 98 kilograms and ran a 40-yard dash in 4.60 seconds on Pro Day. He had a hip injury during the test, but that didn't stop him from having a 34-inch vertical leap and a 10-foot wide jump. Martez isn't a prospect that's going to impress anyone physically but he racked up 194 tackles in college, which is pretty exciting for any position, even a linebacker. He also had 25 tackles for loss at the safety position, as well as 11 sacks. Martez's handbook was expected to be a fifth or sixth round pick, but it ended up falling into draft hands. I don't believe that Martez's playbook is a threat to get on the roster and start playing, but he could spend some time learning the endgame system in practice squad and, as always with the sport of football, as players fall during the season, Martez is a guy who can step onto the field right away and not be embarrassed. He really didn't cost the team anything, and that's really something to celebrate. So Kansas City Chiefs fans, what do you think of our newest addition to the team? Do you think Martez will be able to contribute in the 2023 season? Leave your comments right below. To the next.